Okay, here we go. Another video. This one, factoring, but we, or A is not one, but we have to GCF first. Now, you can factor without um, performing the GCF. It's just your A times C product is going to be very large, um, which means you're going to have that many more possibilities to satisfy the, um, the magic X. And then when you make your three terms and have them become four, and then you split and do the GCF of two, GCF of two, um, you can have varied answers and you can have up to, depending if it's a prime GCF, you'll just have three um, different answers. But once if you get into four and six, cause say six is like two times three, or is it six, then you're getting into many more um, variants, varied answers, factored answers, but typically SAT state tests, they want you to GCF first. Okay, so let's just solve it that way. All right, so here we go. <laughs> I know, a lot of videos today, and I'm still gonna put up a video um, for those kids that are graphing. Um, I'm gonna put up one for the H, and then tomorrow I'll do the Ks, and uh, we're just gonna get going. Okay, all right, here we go. Okay, so we're still factoring quadratics where the A value is not one. I completed these two, right? This is part one, this is part two. Um, and then the answers, obviously, since I didn't give enough space, this is an, oh, my hand's shaking. This is an extension of this problem. And then this one is an extension of the second example. Okay, so now we are just focused on this one here. Okay, 10x squared plus 16x plus six equals zero. We're gonna go ahead and um, solve it by factoring, right? But in order to solve it, once we get it in factor form, we have to do the zero product property. Okay, um, I should have enough space here. So uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, uh, remember A, B, C, right? Okay. Remember, your first step is check to see if there's a GCF, and now there is a GCF. So is there a number that I can reduce this quadratic by, which is GCF, which means uh, get your factors. So 10 is two and five, right? Uh, 16 is two and eight, and six is two and three. So what I mean by that is, because we already did GCF, or you should have. Okay, 10 is 2 times 5, 16 is 2 times 8, 6 is 2 times 3. So if you notice, they all have that common 2. That is your GC. That looks like a 0. GCF. Now it looks like a 6. Whatever. Okay, that's your GCF. So you're going to remove that. You're going to factor it out first. And the really great thing about GCF factoring is then it reduces your A, B, and C value. And so when you multiply A times C, the numbers are smaller, your pairs, there's less of them. It ends up being um, better for your mental math. Okay, so here we go. My GCF is two. So I'm gonna take a two out. Okay, so now divide it, what's left? Uh, 5x squared plus 8x plus 3 is equal to 0. And I just need to double check that I didn't mess that up. So 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 3 is 6. x, x squared, right? I cannot make a mistake on these videos. In the classroom, if I make an error, you know, I have the room that I'm getting kind of sensory from the kids and it just yeah i'll make mistakes there but these videos no errors just bad 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 okay okay step two what do you do you form your magic x a times c product on the top b on the bottom this two you're just going to carry it down you do not want to forget about it so if i kind of highlight it because i gcf first is yellow I can't separate the cap. Okay, if I just highlight it, just so we know, don't forget about it. I will bring it down, but if, um, you know, if after a while you kind of figure out what happened to it, it's just going to kind of tag along for a bit, okay? Okay, here we go. A times C. 5 times 3 is positive 15, correct? My A, my, I'm sorry, my B value is positive 8. Okay. How do I get 15, 1 and 15, and 3 and 5? That's it. 
Okay, now since 15 is positive, the only way you get a positive product is by positive positive or negative negative, right? The way you get a positive product is positive times positive is positive. Negative times a negative gives you the product of a positive. So these are my two options. So what do I do? You look at your eight. My eight is positive. Remember, because these two symbols are gonna be the same, you're gonna end up adding to get this eight. I cannot add a negative number and a negative number and get a positive value. So it's this combo. So a positive times a positive gives me a positive, but a positive plus a positive or added together gives me a positive. Look at that, she wants to drink my drink. Okay. And so we're adding here. So what's one and 15, 16, nope. What's three and five? Eight, there is my pair. And it doesn't matter the three or the five, it doesn't matter which one goes where, okay? Okay, so now what's the next step? We GCF'd, magic X, we just completed it. Third step, you're gonna turn your original quadratic, which is three terms, one, two, three, right? 10X squared plus 16X plus six. We're gonna change our three terms and we're gonna make it come become four terms by replacing our BX term with these two paired values that we found, right? For the magic X. Okay, so I'm going to get two, five, x squared, wait, oh, you're not even looking, sorry. Okay, five x squared plus five x plus three x plus three equals zero, right? So remember, the two is what we GCF'd, I just brought that down, five x squared, five x squared, constant value three, three, equal, equal, zero, zero. But the only thing they changed is this 5, 8x, this 8x got replaced with this 3 and 5. I just accidentally switched them. 5x plus 3x. It doesn't matter. Okay. Or again, I'm good, just going to highlight this too so you don't forget where it came from and why I have it. Remember, it's that GCF first. That's where it's coming from here, here, and we're just bringing it down. Just like we're bringing down that equal 0. Equal 0, equal 0, equal 0. Okay, so the next step is split. Ah, again, my G's look like my GCF, GCF, right? Because remember, the next step is you're going to split those four terms, so two, two, and then you're gonna GCF the left two terms and you're gonna GCF the right two terms, right? Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to GCF the 5x squared plus 5x, and I'm going to GCF the 3x plus 3. Okay, you still have this 2 here, right? So we're just going to leave it off for now. Um, hello, I'm trying to teach. Okay, so you have 5 and 5. So what number divides into 5 and 5? Well, they're perfectly identical, so just go ahead and take them out. She's just going to, I think... She figures she can just go ahead and take a nap right now, right? Wow. Okay. Okay, good, she laid down. Okay, so we're gonna take out the five. So if I GCF the five, right, and then I have <laughs> x squared and x, I'm going to remove 1x. Yeah, I'm trying to teach. Okay. Um, so I have an x, and now what is left? Well, 5, 5, wait, I need to, it's not focused. Okay. So I'm left with an x, right? Because 5 divided by 5 is 1. 2x's take away 1 is 1x. Okay, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1x divided by, I'm sorry. 1x take away 1x is just 1. So they end up, we ended up factoring out exactly 5x divided by 5x is just 1. Okay. And so double check. 5x, uh, 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times 1 is 5x, right? We're going to carry this down at the end of the 2. Okay, so now let's look at the 3x. Uh, 3 and 3, I'm going to take out a positive 3. 
one X, no X's, can't remove it. So what's three divided by three, one? Leave the X. What's three divided by three, one? And again, notice you have matching. She's like, she's trying to grab everything I'm trying to grab. These match always. They should always be the same. Always, always, okay? All right. <laughs> Okay, next, now you have this and this. And so we're gonna create two binomial factors, right? Oh, that's great, I dropped it. Let me just look at her. Okay, um, and then here's the other one. I'll just put the caps on later. Here. she's just watching me she wants to eat it okay so remember you're now going to gcf again so x plus one five x plus three and then of course do not forget about this two at the top you need to bring it down and so then there's your two and so that is factored form the two is from the original GCF at the very, very beginning, right? 5x plus 3x plus 1, right? That came from the GCF of these two factored um, binomials. And then this is a 5x, 5x plus 3, which came from the two GCFs from the split. Okay. All right. Remember, the directions say to solve the, quadra the quadratic by factoring, you have to do the zero product property, right? So we're gonna solve. So ZPP means you set these equal to zero. And so you have five X plus three equals zero, X plus one equals zero. And so here, if you guys have noticed what your shortcut is, you end up inverse operating, which means you take this positive one over. So it becomes the negative, right? Here, your fraction, let's go over the shortcut. Okay, your fraction is, oh my goodness. Um, your numerator is the opposite of this constant, so it's negative three, and your denominator is the coefficient of x. So it's negative three-fifths x minus one, and that is your factored solving intercepts root solutions. That's it. Okay. Okay. Let me end this and let me get the assignment up.